Hello Zinni friends and welcome to our March collection. A few things before we start. This will be our last collection video that we are doing. Marshall's face is oh so sad. Hello darkness my old friend. Mainly because we are no longer going to be making products after March or April. Uh, we're basically going to get rid of all the stuff that we have, clearance everything out, and shut down the business because we are not doing as well as we hoped. We had a really rough time. First off, I'd like to think it's a lot of the economic situation things are in. We've done some research and apparently a lot of other companies that are focusing on wax but don't have a brick and mortar to them, they're starting to fall apart. And we're just another casualty. Uh, even though we've got a few other kinds of products going on, and some of them you guys really like, people just aren't hearing about us enough, I feel. And it's... We just were not making enough to even cover supplies, really, for what we had to yeah. buy. You know, it, it makes us very sad that something that we've done for almost three years is kind of coming to a close. You know, something we built a community on. But if you are a member of our Facebook group, and you kind of should be anyway, we will not be going anywhere. We are actually going to start a whole new kind of Facebook group based on these pop culture things that we have based our products on. And then... We want to hear from you guys more. We want to see what you guys are into and really start this whole community of people who are sharing their love and their passion for other things. We have a stable of characters. Characters that have been around for the last year or more, for some of them, and we just, we don't want them to die. Mm -mm. We love them, and we actually really want to see them do other things. So yeah. we have a few other ideas, but we're not ready to talk about those yet. So we'll, we'll, in the meantime, we're going to have this new collection for you. I'm actually, it is pretty fun. We have a con coming up first week of March, mm -hmm. so we are trying to get ready for that. Some, Some of the these. scents that we came out with, we came out with for the convention. But let's start with the one that doesn't fall into the category of what it, what we have this month. Mm -hmm. It is based on a Netflix show that was kind of like all the rage. As but we this year. it's also been a video game and it started as a novel series. And that is, lots of surprise, it is based on The Witcher. You can get it in sprays and car scents. Dark chocolate, light taffy, and pecans. We really wanted it to be like a dark and a light mm -hmm. and then, you know, a complexity in the middle there. I could actually, we made this yesterday and I could smell it from the table. It was very strong, very chocolatey. And if you're wondering why my hands are pink, these are new, like these are fresh. So mm -hmm. I still have all the dye on my hands. He doesn't wear gloves. Put it together, that's good. I mean, that's not to say, I mean, we say we're shutting down the business, but we're still gonna be making these products for ourselves because we like it, and so it's it's not. I, I, need, I need the body sprays. I drink a lot of water, but I also sweat quite a bit with my job, so I need a spray. Yes, and the scrubs are just great for our hands. We love mm -hmm. the parts of, we'll probably end up keeping the candles and the wax too because you know, we, we need those things. So, yes, we're still going to be making them. It, it just, we're not, you know. not going to be putting all our effort into selling them. No, no. Uh, so, anyway, let's talk about Law of Surprise. So, on our artwork, we see Orlando and Jamie. Orlando is Geralt, and he's got gold eyes and silver hair. He's mm -hmm. got the sword, and the sword is a pretty accurate representation of the sword that he's got, dressed up in all the armor. And then Jamie is as Yennefer and casting magic there. So that, that's, that was a fun dress to put together. She's got a lot of little details. You can't see in this teeny tiny package, but you can see it right Probably up there. Probably here, yeah. Yeah. I, I really like this one. I think it's definitely going to be... We should have made it in a candle because I think it's going to be great in a the, candle. The taffy does something different with the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, get, you get chocolate and a few other things that we do, but this the taffy that comes in just kind of gives it this strange edge that I like. like a fruit licorice thing. I'm not exactly certain what it is I'm putting in my nose, <laughs> but I know I would like a little bit more of that, please and thank you. We're now going to start into our video game collection, and I'm going to start with the sprays that are oldies but goodies, but we're only offering them in spray form this month. First off, we have Strength and Dignity. This is Rain, Daisies, and Berry, and you can see this one has Ravenna dressed up as Princess Daisy. 
uh, from Super Mario Brothers series. And that was made by uh, our friend Andrea. She did it for our uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October mm -hmm. in honor of her friend. And this one actually has variant artwork, one of her in her princess dress and one of her in her tennis outfit. Mm -hmm. Then we have Silent Breath. Silent Breath was created by Zelma, and it is based on Zelda. <laughs> and it is Fresh Rain, Ozone, and Lotus Blossom. It really does smell like flowers on a hill with a wind. And you have Hershey as Link. Mm -hmm. Last out of this set, we have Hunter. This has Colada as Samus Aran from Metroid, and it smells like grapefruit, jasmine, and cotton. So it, it's kind of like after she's taken off the armor and she's kind of chillaxing in her Justin Bailey outfit mm. after a good hunt. And this was created by our friend Shannon. Our next scent is an oldie but a goodie. This was also created by Zelma, and you will notice that Zelma creates a lot of scents in the video game area because she, she and her kids submit a lot. But yeah. Peach of Cake was one of the first ones she did. It is basically like a peach cobbler. That's what it smells like. And in this month only, you can get in spray and in the car scent as well. Mm, this is very good bakery. It's peaches, cinnamon, and bakery dough. So mm. it's kind of got a little bit of cinnamon bun to it, but mm. not not all together. Uh, in the artwork, you see Jelly, and she is dressed up as Princess Peach. But again, variant artwork. So you have her both in her princess dress and in her racing outfit from Mario Kart 8. I like this one too. Our next one is an oldie kind of, but a goodie. It does have brand new artwork this month as well, but that is Partners in Justice. It is based on Pokemon, and the scent notes are watermelon, lemon, and lime. This is the perfect scent for summer yeah. and spring, really. I love this scent so much. We did it in a candle, we did it in wax, a car scent, and a spray. Please do yourself a favor and get it in a candle or a wax or a car scent because all three of those are, are just, they're going to be amazing in your house. They will be. I think that's the first one I want to put in my car, yeah. actually. Mm, that's good stuff. Now, as far as the artwork goes, we have Jamie back again. This time, they are with Waldo, who is being Detective Pikachu, wearing the, the hunting cap. And then you have Pacey as Psyduck. Uh, I thought that was really fun. Uh, but uh, Jamie's outfit is actually based off of a fusion of different outfits from different Pokemon trainer main character versions both the male and the female versions just all over the place so mm -hmm. uh right now they are representing all of the main character trainers our next scent is wayfinder which is based on kingdom hearts the scent notes are cranberry peaches and a promise it is kind of like the star fruit uh that we would imagine what the star fruit smells the like fruit, yeah yeah it's really nice there's almost kind of a cottony scent and but it is fruity as well we are offering this in a candle, wax, scrub, and spray this month. So four different ways for you to get this as well. Of course, and people love the scent. That's why we did it. In all the different forms, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's a good refreshing scent. Mm -hmm. It's also got brand new artwork, as you see. This time we have Zane, and he is dressed up as Sora from Kingdom Hearts with the Keyblade and all. This is the spikiest his hair has ever been. <laughs> Now we're going to talk about some new scents. We have two new scents for this collection. The first one is called Pinku. It is submitted by Zelma and her daughter Lissa to be representative of Kirby. And the scent notes are Candy Clouds, Cherry Blossoms, and Vanilla. I haven't really smelled this one yet. So okay, okay. you, you kind of get this cotton candy, candy start mm -hmm. that blurs into a floral. Yeah. And I like that. Um, yes. And then there's this vanilla just kind of acting as a base layer. So it, it, it keeps, it has something solid on the underneath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that combination. And this artwork, it <laughs> makes me laugh actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we have Hershey and he is colored all pink like Kirby. And he is on one of the warp stars that Kirby uses to get from planet to planet and all over the place, but he's eating it. If you haven't ever played the games, Kirby is a game all about this kid who's running around trying to get all the food back for the people that are in his country because the evil King DDD, here represented as Pacey, has stolen it all. And so he's very hungry, so he's eating the warp star. Our last scent is based on Final Fantasy, and it is called Dilly Dally. These scent notes, I can't even read. Oh, wait, Fresh Air, Peonies, and Mossy Forest. You can get it in a car scent or a spray. Yes. 
It has a really interesting smell. It's yeah. it is very mossy. You get the moss, but there, there's all it does kind of take you right into an overgrown scene. That makes me think of Steve Zahn and You've Got Mail, where he's like, I need to get that candle to make my apartment smell mossy. <laughs> so, <laughs> what Dilly Dally is fully based <laughs> off of. For one, Final Fantasy VII is going to be re released in March. And we're like, well, if we're going to be doing a video game set in March, we might as well do Final Fantasy with it. Uh, and so, here you have Ravenna as Eris, who is one of the more pivotal characters of the game. When you first meet her, she's in a church that is ruined and overgrown with flowers. And a lot of her story is about bringing back nature in a spiritual kind of sense. Spoilers for those of you who haven't played it, uh, she dies. In the movie afterwards, she is trying to get the main character to move on with his life because he's just kind of mourning her. And this vision of her comes to him going, <sighs> Dilly dally, shilly shally. Go do something. And that's where the name comes from. Hmm. Like we said, uh, we, this won't be, this will be our last, like, collection video. That's not to say that we won't have other videos or other things happening. We, again, you need to check our website because after the con we're going to be putting up a lot of our back stock for very cheap. So you can stock up for everything that you need. If we have it still, you can get it. So make sure you are looking at our website and in our Facebook group to find out when that is actually going to be happening. Yeah, thank you so much for being with us for, you know, these years. Uh, you know, I hope that you continue to join us in our little community because we, we really do want to build something that is you know, a place where we can come together and be like, hey, yeah, let's talk about random things. It doesn't just have to be, you know, Netflix movies or TV shows. It can, you know, it can be like, this is what I'm crafting right now, or this is where I'm going right now, or whatever you're into right now, basically. Yes. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye. Sad screenshot. I've come to talk with... Okay. All right. That was for the thumbnail. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean that this whole thing isn't going to still be edited into the video. <laughs>